So first grade, today we are going to do another Pixie project. What topic have we been focusing on these last few weeks? What has been our topic that we've been working with? We have been working on constellations. Who can remind us what is a constellation? Macy, what is a constellation? Very good. A constellation is a group of stars or a cluster of stars that normally make a shape or a picture. So if we look at some of our constellations that we've been working with, what are one of the shapes that we see that are made from stars? What pictures do you see these constellations making? For example, if I were to tell you that Leo makes the shape of an animal, what animal does Leo make the shape of? Everybody tell me. Lion. He is a lion. Okay. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make our very own constellations. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to think of an animal that you would like to use to make your constellation. Okay. So remember, this is a pixie project. So who wants to raise their hand and tell me an animal that you would like to use for a constellation? Yes, Aiden. A what? Okay, so Leo's an example of a lion. Let's think of something different that we haven't done. So Leo would be a lion. Think of a different animal. Aaliyah? A horse. A horse, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Pixie by clicking all programs. What will we click? All programs. Very good. So I will click all programs. What is the name of the software we are using? Pixie. Pixie, and it starts with what letter? P. P, so will it be at the top of our list or the bottom? towards the bottom. So when I click into Pixie 4, it will be a new project. So when we get into our workspace, the first thing we're going to do is find a picture of a horse. Who can tell me what steps do I need to follow to find a picture of a horse? Where do I go to find a picture of a horse? Dalton, where do I go? Okay, it's not books. <laughs> Library, is that what you meant, Dalton? So I'll click on library. Will it be under backgrounds, picks for learning, or stickers? Stickers. It will be under stickers. So when I click on stickers, what would be the next file I click on? What would be the next file I click on? Gabby, what would I click on if I'm trying to find a horse? Which one? The animals, which is this one with what animal on it? Bunny. It's a bunny rabbit, yep. Bunny. So when I click on animals, now there are lots of different files here. Okay, so it might be under, would it be under pets or farm animals? Farm animals. Farm animals, it might be under pets too. So let's click farm animals. Okay, and here's a horse right here. So when I click on the horse, I will put it into its picture. Now, when we looked at our constellations, okay, if you use each little square as a page, was our picture on here, was it little or was it big? Did it almost take up that whole square? Yeah. Yeah, so what do I need to do with my horse? What do I need to do with my horse? Melanie, what do I need to do? Make it bigger, and how would I make it bigger? Click it on the corner, and what? I'm gonna pull it or drag it, yep. Okay, so I'm gonna make him nice and big. Okay, so there's a picture of our horse. Now we have to decide how can we make our horse into a constellation. So remember, all of our constellations on this picture, a lot of times they use like the body parts or the items that the people are holding to make it. So. Let's decide how many stars we want to have in our constellation. Let's decide how many stars. Should we have like 30? No. No, that would be way too many. Well, what about like two? No. Probably not enough, right? So let's choose a number that's between 5 and 15. A number between 5 and 15. BJ, can you give me a number between 5 and 15? 12. 12. Okay, so we're going to make 12 stars. So to make our stars, what tools do I need to go into? Hey. Aiden, what tools? 
I need to go into my paint tools and click on the ink ball. I'm going to choose um, blue because our background is light enough that we can see it. So if you look, when I go over the horse, okay, you see how it gets a little bit lighter? This will allow me to see where I put my stars. So where do you think would be some good places to put my stars? Where would be a good place to put some of my stars? Yes, Cruz. Okay, on the knees or on the feet? Um, the feet. Okay. Then the legs, the, um, the back, the head, and, um, in the chest. Okay. What about the tail? Should we put one there? Yeah. Okay. The back. All right, so let's look. I want you to count. I'm in a place, so Cruz said on the feet, the legs, the chest, the back, the head, and then Mr. D suggested the tail. So I'm going to place the stars. I would like you to count them. Remember, we're doing how many? Twelve. Twelve. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve. Okay. Now. We have to be really careful how we connect our dots because if we were to take the picture of the horse away, we want to still be able to tell that our constellations would make the shape of the horse, right? So which paint tools do I use next? Which paint tools do I use next? Like how I see lots of hands up. That tells me that we have been paying attention the last few days. McKenna? So we have our stars. What do we do next? We do our lines, and we find our lines in our shape tools. Do we want our line to be really thick, really thin, or somewhere in the middle? Somewhere, somewhere in the middle. So look, right now, I see a couple of my stars, but not all of them, but same thing. Now, do you think I should connect this dot, like all the way down here? Ew, no. no. It wouldn't make it look like a horse. You're exactly right. So I want to try to kind of make the shape of the horse. So if we remember Leo, how they made the head, they just used lines like this. Do you remember doing that in Leo? He kind of just had like a hook for a head. So let's do it that way because we want to make it look as much like a horse as possible. So now I'm going to connect my lines. Here's my tail. And I'm going to go down. Here's one leg, two leg. How many legs does a horse have? Okay, there's my third leg and my fourth leg, and then let's connect the body here. Okay, so how'd it turn out? Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. How'd my constellation turn out? Awesome. All right, hands down. Last thing you have to do is we have to give our constellation a name, right? Now, some of our constellations, if we look at Taurus, okay, Taurus uses the bull, so you, a lot of people think like Toro, Toro for the bull, okay? And then Leo is the name of the lion, so you can give it a person's name, or you can also name it after like Scorpio. What animal is Scorpio? A scorpion. Scorpion. So does the name sound like the picture? Yeah. It does. So who would like to give us some ideas for what we could name our constellation? Let's take three ideas and then we'll vote. Theo. What is it? Poro. Poro? Um, we said. Horsen? Koi. Horsty. Horsty. Okay, Horsty. so let's choose between Horus and Horsty. Okay, so we're going to do this by raising our hands. If you'd like to name the horse Horus, raise your hand. Horus the horse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you like the name Horsty better, raise your hand. One, two. All right. All right. Well, if you don't like any any of them, that's okay because you'll get to design your own. So remember to add the name. We're going to put the text tool. Do we want our name to be big or small? Big. We want our name to be big. So I'm going to double click and I'm going to change it to blue, and we called ours Horsty. 
So if I click back on the name and I drag it out, it makes it nice and big. So if I hover over him, does it look like the horse? Yes. yes, it does. So that's what you're going to be doing today with your partner. Now, here's how we're going to use teamwork. One partner is going to get to choose which animal they want to do. Okay. The other partner is going to do the paint tools. So let's pretend that um, Paige is my partner. Okay. This first page, maybe it's Paige. So if Paige decided to do the horse, Okay, Mr. D, would, uh, I would control the mouse, but Paige would tell me where to put the stars. If it's Paige's horse, who gets to choose the name? Paige. Paige gets to choose the name. So, let's say Paige gets to do page one. Who would get to do page two? You. I would get to. So let's say I chose to do a turtle. We would add a page. Who would take over the mouse? Paige. Paige would take over the mouse. Mr. D would tell Paige where to put the stars. Who would get to name the turtle? I would. My choice of animal, so I get to choose the name. So how many pages should you have at the end of this project? Thirteen. Ooh, that was for our book. So if Paige has one page and Mr. D has another page, one and one makes what? Two. Two. So you'll have two pages. We'll get to print them when you're done. We will not have time to finish today. You'll have about 15 <laughs> minutes to work today. If you don't finish today, when you see your screens go blue, it means it's time to go and Mr. D will work on saving them for you when it's time to go. Thumbs up if you know exactly what you're doing. All right. You may stand up, rock, paper, scissors to see who will decide your constellation first.